As the world gets wetter, more and more consume vehicles in order to stay dry and avoid the weather at all costs. Trying hard to brave the elements in order to just get through the day. But how detrimental is that to our environment? And will we ever recover? Rainfalls are at an all-time high, and water levels are rising in most cities across America. As you can see, the flooding in the inner cities has increased dramatically, affecting everything from transportation to logistics through the disruption of schedules, infrastructure, or weather-damaged equipment, thanks to global warming. As the rains continue to fall, we must bear down and protect ourselves from the elements. But when is enough enough? This is Rich Whiteman signing out for the Pacific Northwest Traffic Report. The beauty of nature is approaching a very real and very dangerous fate. Rising levels of toxicity threaten our world, threatening all of us. The cause? Industrial pollution. The skewed values assigned to capitalism at the expense of our Earth. The storm will rage long into this dark night until everything we know, everything that is home, is all but destroyed. As the weather becomes more unpredictable, so does our future. The future is worth protecting. This is D.B. Lowry from the Echo Poet Society. Thanks, Carla. We have a heck of a setup in the Northwest for a lot of rain over the next couple of days. See, there's this atmospheric river setup that we get sometimes, which is basically just picture a river except it's flowing above our heads. So this is a lot of moisture, like way high in the atmosphere, and it's flowing directly into the Northwest for a couple of days. You couple that with a storm system at the surface, and you end up with basically a lot of rising air, a lot of moisture, and that all creates rain together, people. Now, I know we've got a lot of those fires down in California, but don't let that be a worry. It's the least of our concerns. The bigger story here is going to be the possibility for some flooding in places like Portland, Seattle, and even Bellingham. So it's just going to be so much rain. So you just got to get prepared for it. And of course, there's going to be some snow in some high elevations as well. Could actually see a pretty good amount of snow in some of the higher peaks there in the Cascades, but I do think we're going to see some flooding here, there, everywhere, because that is a lot of rain, several inches over just a couple of days. So bust out those raincoats, umbrellas, and hats, everybody. You're going to need them. Jimmy Petty has been farming this land on the north side of Murray County, just a few miles from the Tennessee border, for many decades. Over the years, he, like all other farmers, have had to battle the weather. But the weather conditions he has faced this year has devastated this field of soybeans. Oh, it's been the worst drought that I've ever seen in anyone else, I think. that We've not had over an inch of rain, I don't guess, since May. And it's the worst, worst year we've ever saw. From this field, you can see the smoke from wildfires that are burning the dry North Georgia mountains. And as Jimmy looks over the crop, he can only wait until next year. Usually we have hay for sale, and this year we're having to buy hay and haul hay in and haul water to the pastures, and the over ponds are dried up and our wet weather springs are dried up, and it's just been a, a you know, all the way around a, a real bad year for the farmers in this area but this year it just didn't do it, and it, you know, it's out of our hands. It's out of our hands. So we'll just take what we got and, and hope for a better one next year. Reporting from Murray County, I'm Mark Wildman for the Georgia Farm Monitor. Here in America, we believe every human being 
has the right to live their lives however they choose. And in doing so, we understand the pressures of life, especially when it comes to braving the harsh elements of Earth. So we must stop fighting each other and put our heads together for a common goal. And by taming the natural world, we hope to unlock the mysteries of life deep within. If that doesn't work, we'll just fight back the weather using heavy artillery and ammunition. We've even enlisted support from people like you to help seed the clouds with specialized floating rain spores developed by our elemental scientists and weather engineers. Because we're just like you, and what we need now is less talk about climate change and more talk about vacations, am I right? I mean, if global warming was real, tropical places like this wouldn't even be affected. So don't worry about a thing and trust us. We're on your side. Now I'd like to show you your Thursday forecast, which I just did. Ha, <laughs> jokes on you people. This is the week forecast now. Here we have Monday through Sunday. So check it out. We're gonna have some nice sunny days coming up, but then all of a sudden it's gonna turn apocalyptic and we're all gonna shit our pants because it's gonna thunderstorm and lightning. Some sleet, some hail. We're probably gonna see some cats and dogs as well. So be sure to grab your galoshes, maybe your umbrellas, and maybe even set it up for a nice day inside. Netflix and chill, everybody.